just a quick video to show the brand new 2022 uh, Range Rover World newly launched um, Android infotainment system. This is taken direct inspiration from the brand new uh, 2022 L460, uh, which is the newest Vogue uh, Range Rover. Um, and of course the sports that feature the, um, the same system. Um, this is an exclusive product to Range Rover World. This is not a product that is available uh, elsewhere. This is our product. Um, and again, some of you who um, really liked the innovative technology in the 2022 Range Rover will really like this panel. There will be a love it or hate it with this panel, um, which is why we are not discontinuing our existing lineup of products. Um, some people um, may not like the Tesla style large tablet on the dashboard. However, um, I was of the same opinion until starting to use this frequently during our testing. Um, it's very, very nicely installed. There is nothing on here that would lead you to think um, it is of poor quality. These systems are built to our specifications uh, for us. So very, very good quality. They are at a much higher price point to our previous systems, um, but very much a case of um, you get what you pay for with this system. Superb um, high definition display. Um, integrates seamlessly with the factory original system um, so you do not lose any functionality so we are demonstrating this system today in a long wheelbase Range Rover with rear seat entertainment and this is also equipped with self parking and um, various other toys so we're going to show what this looks like um, it's a little bit of a long-winded video. It's quite in-depth, um, so apologies. So um, we'll come on to Apple CarPlay shortly. Um, for those of you who know what Apple CarPlay looks like, on this particular display, it's absolutely stunning. Um, it's a very, very large display. Um, and one of the most important things is that it's a, a matte finish display like the OEM 2022 Range Rover meaning a lot less sun glare on the screen, um, absorbs light uh, really well. So it's a crystal clear display. Also um, today we have the latest rendition of our um, climate control panel as well, um, which also features the um, off-road uh, capability. So we can switch this into different driving modes, which will be illustrated here on the AC panel. Um, and again, all of this works harmoniously with the new infotainment system. So um, we're going to dive into some of the features. Um, firstly, it's a very, very nice display. This home layout replicates the 2022 uh, Range Rover really well. You've got your traditional Android based apps here, so you can still press the button to access any apps or install apps that you want. Um, our autoplay app is what we use for um, Apple CarPlay, which we'll come on to in a separate video. Um, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to have a look at what the OEM system looks like. Um, so let's just get rid of that for a minute. There we go. So this is an absolutely enormous display. Um, one of the benefits of this is not only do you retain your factory system in the background, so you lose no functionality, um, but you also have the benefit of being able to now utilize this large 14 inch display in full screen. And what I mean by that is let's go to television and video, um, quickly throw something up on TV. Um, apologies, that might be um, something daft, but we'll put it on anyway. So let's have a look. So again, there we go, full screen look at the size of that um, so this is a dvd so this will be the same in the front for your um, rear seat entertainment huge display um, whilst the um, input quality um, 
does technically remain the same, we have seen a significant increase in quality um, purely because of the display. Um, it's like having an old DVD player plugged into an analog TV and suddenly plugging that DVD player into a HD TV, you do get a marginal increase in quality. So that is a really nice bonus. Um, again, the same can be said with the TV um, as well. So if we go onto TV tuner, not sure if we'll get signal in here, but let's have a look. So there we go. So full screen, large TV display. And again, here we go for scale with the uh, AC panel. Very, very, very nice. This is just digital TV, by the way. Much better quality screen, much better image quality on the TV. Um, I wouldn't quite stretch to say it's like jumping from analog to HD, um, but it is a significant improvement. Very subjective, but um, significant improvement. Um, so again, for controlling rear seat entertainment, if you have rear seat entertainment, you would simply control that on the original system here. Um, so, you know, anyone who has rear seat entertainment, be that the larger um, tablets or whether that's the um, uh, headrests that are um, uh, have the smaller uh, sort of six inch screens, um, either way, this gives you a much better uh, better image. Um, again, self-parking. Let's just tap that to show that that's working. Self-parking is indeed working. Um, reverse camera wise, if we go back to the original um, 2022 system, so um, I'm just going to put this into reverse and you can see straight away we have a much much larger um, display so the reverse camera is absolutely huge um, the image for the reverse camera should I say is absolutely huge um, just turn off those sensors a second so it's not beeping um, which is fantastic um, you've got a, a bird's eye overview you can zoom in and out um, just like you could on the factory system great for hooking up trailers if you've got um, tow bars etc so a really really nice um, display um, just take that out of park it will flip between the old system to show the reverse camera um, one of the things you can do with this system um, it's a little bit more involved but certainly very rewarding is going to settings going to rear view we have also introduced the option to include high definition reverse cameras in fact some of them are 4k um, so if you are tired of your old reverse camera system uh, this is a 2014 vehicle you can actually change it to any one of the um, options on here so we can install a 720 pixel HD camera when you select reverse it would simply pull up on the screen the new camera input um, this is not installed as you can see we're using the factory um, camera um, and again depending on um, your preference you can also have a, a CVBS camera um, or a CVBS which is also 360 meaning the surround birds bird's eye view um, the CVBS for those who aren't aware these are the Amazon type upgraded reverse cameras with the yellow um, RCA type connector on the back so it gives you the flexibility to install an aftermarket camera. Um, one of the things that's also a bit of a techy, geeky feature of this product is you can also um, install a night vision camera or a normal reverse camera without the lines on into the front of the grille on the car. Um, really handy for off-roading or nighttime driving. Um, and you can actually use an input that's in here uh, for DVR um, and this will allow you to access this camera on the screen again we don't have one installed but that's how you would access it just up here um, which is nice it gives you the flexibility to choose um, the systems that you want to use um, so yeah hopefully um, you've enjoyed that fairly brief walk around um, again, no loss in functionality, steering wheel buttons work, skipping tracks forward, backwards, volume, and so on, all works perfectly. Um, this is a product developed by us, so um, we are enthusiasts and owners and operators of 
uh, L405 Range Rovers. So um, the system is superb quality. Um, I'll do another video to cover off Apple CarPlay, um, which will be a short overview of Apple CarPlay and its features on, on this lovely display. Um, hopefully that will be on the website um, for, for you to have a look at.